vegans look down on people. I love to sing about the moon and the juna and the sprinkles. I'm smoking greener. I love to sing about the moon and the juna and the sprinkles. I'm smoking greener. <coughs> Hello, it is Ambitious the Vegan Stoner, and I'm back with another video. But first, oh, disclaimer. Um, I'm going to be speaking about certain groups. I'm no way at all generalizing an entire group. These aren't my entire thoughts on everybody in the group. Again, not generalizing. I just wanted to point out a few things that I have experienced from some people. So please don't take it that way. And also, if you're sensitive, get the F out this video, period. Thank you. Bye. See you. I am back with another video. Welcome to episode, I believe this is six. Welcome to episode six of Smoke Break, okay? So in this video, I just wanted to talk about a few things that have been bothering me, okay? And when I say bothering me, I don't mean just a little smidget of a bother. I mean, it's kind of really been bothering me. So I decided to just go ahead and make a video about it. So this video is going to be about the divide in the vegan community. Did you hear what I said? I said this video is going to be about the divide in the vegan community now you would think that because everybody is making like better choices for themselves you would generally think vegans are just the most polite happy most spiritual beings to walk the earth but let me tell you something um, it isn't always like that and there is really a divide within the vegan community I feel there's levels, there's levels, levels, levels to this veganism thing. For me, example, when I was transitioning into veganism, I was vegetarian for about two years. Now, when I was vegetarian, that's when I kind of get the vibes that sometimes vegans look down on people. Ooh, yeah, um, I experienced prejudice in the veggie community um, because, I mean, you have some vegans that feel as though like vegetarians should know better. Like if you're going to be so conscious as to not consume meat, then you should know better about dairy. But it isn't quite like that. Your journey is not the next person's journey. Everybody is not just gonna come in vegan, um, just come in, just it takes some people time and sometimes people make mistakes. I've also, again, experience some type of prejudice in the vegan community being vegan and not being alkaline vegan me personally when i first learned about veganism i was aware of dr sabi and i was aware of the alkaline food list however i thought it would be very difficult to like be alkaline and like get everything on the list yeah i i guess already had it embedded in my head that i wasn't going to be able to get these things so then i just may as well just start get, giving up meat and um, for me, in my vegan journey, a lot of what my meals are were literally substitutions. So, sorry to say, but I'm not the healthiest vegan. I do eat good sometimes, but a lot of the time, like, I was eating Beyond Burgers, vegan pizza, substitutions, vegan hot dogs, like, I was going crazy. Nachos, tacos, like, I'm, I was literally eating the same as when I was a meat eater, so like can't look down on me because i'm not an alkaline vegan or you can't judge someone because they aren't at the level of things with you so with that it's just like you would think we're all just like who who everybody let's stick together like no <laughs> it's really not like that it's crazy you feel me it's crazy out here in these vegan streets because everybody has an opinion and everybody feels like they're right and no one can ever be wrong and i wanted to read a comment that i got the other day on my vegan page this this comment also 
is kind of the reason why I wanted to make this video because it just made me feel like why is there such a divide? We should be vegans and happy and free and not judgmental and not like on other people's cases about using the word vegan or you know like like that that is the energy that makes people want to be like not even hold the title of veganism like you got vegans out here that don't even want to call themselves vegan they just eat vegan because they don't want the problems to come with it like so i made a post about um this i'm, I'm gonna call it a scandal um be sure to tune into my next video where i'm going to be talking about impossible burgers and how they were using gmo soy or whatever the situation is but this is what she said she said veganism isn't about health so i don't know why people are expecting every vegan product to be healthy veganism is about animal liberation period <laughs> bitch what 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 my vegan journey isn't your vegan journey and who are you to judge for some people poo period poo for some people poo veganism is only about health um like that comment made no sense okay and like she should be honest she honestly went back and forth on my page with me we were about 11 12 comments deep but I ended it by saying, the reality is, this isn't everyone's vegan story. People is doing what's best for them, and that's why I share this information. So, um, you cannot tell somebody they're wrong because they're not vegan for the animals. I'm not necessarily vegan for the animals, so am I wrong? Am I not allowed to call myself a vegan? Like, get the, get, get, get out of here with that. Let's spread the energy of love. And let's spread the energy of light and let's continue to uplift one another and if you can't do that like like I don't know just just don't bring the energy around me because like that's all I want to do is spread love and light and I think the veganism journey should be about literally people uplifting selves being the best version of themselves it don't always have to be like there is no book there's no, well, there are books, there are books about veganism, but um, there are no rules. There are no, there are, there are no rules that say you can't be in a vegan club. <laughs> I mean, I guess, uh, unless you're eating meat. I think that's the one exception of the rule. In the end of the day, I think it's best that, again, people do what's best for them and stop being so judgy. Like, no one likes a judgy, preachy vegan. Like... It's annoying much, maybe? But yeah, I think people should just work on being the best versions of themselves and like stop throwing judgment everywhere. There's levels and everybody just has to do what's best for them. So with that being said, I would encourage, super, super encourage my vegan friends to keep spreading love and keep spreading light and continue to just be great vegans. Be a good vegan, okay? Be a good vegan. Thank you all for watching and tuning in with me for yet another video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know the next time that I post a new video. Also, comment down below and tell me your favorite, best, positive thought about the vegan community. All right, guys. See you in the next video. It's never enough.